Greetings, everyone. Thank you again for joining me. Uh, I know it's been a long time since I made a video. I've been going crazy, busy, having art shows. Uh, I got married. Uh, yeah, I've been in and out of the hospital like five times in the last couple of months uh, with various emergencies and uh, self-inflicted wounds as, uh, as well as some uh, Crohn's disease stuff. Anyway. I'm happy to be back uh, with you for a short video. I'm going to try out this new uh, desktop recorder. And um, I guess the, uh, the elephant in the room at this point is the, um, the being able to see Venus at night. So here's the heliocentric model. I'll just get to uh, some color you can see as the uh, sunlight leaves the uh, sun like so. Hits the earth, which means half of the planet is black, like so. So if you're standing here on the planet, your side of your line of sight is essentially this way. You notice Venus is over here. So, how can you see Venus at night? It's impossible with the heliocentric model, man. Think about it. Just think about it. You have to be on the dark side of the planet looking this direction. Looking this way. At night. While Venus is behind you over here. Just think about it. Earth is going around like this and Venus is on the inside and you're facing in this direction. How can you see something that's over here? Okay, so that's very, very simple. They try and explain it away. Here's one way. They, it's, you'll find it on the internet if you look it up. But just, you know, use your head. Use your mind. Okay, you're here looking this direction because the sun is here. The sun is giving off light. Half of the planet is dark. Half of the planet is light. How can that be you see Venus fly past you even like this and you see it on the horizon at 26 degree angle? It just, it doesn't work that way. Okay, my friends, hang in there. I got a couple more videos coming soon. You all take care now. Bye.